today. What do you do when you have a day like this? It's Monday morning. Here we go. All right, well, you need to realize that this happens to everybody, and I do mean everybody. Heck, it happened to me last week, which is why I decided to bring it up today. Here's what I'm talking about. Let's say you wake up one morning, and despite all the things in your life that you have to be grateful for, and you do have those things, in spite of your best good intentions, you're just not feeling it. You're just not feeling it. I know you know what I'm talking about, right? You're a little out of sorts. And the thing is, many times you don't even know why you are. It's maddening. Well, have you ever wondered why you have days like those? Well, stick with me because I have the answer and I have a solution. Now, if you're like me, I get a little perturbed when I have days like that because, quite frankly, I don't like feeling that way. Do you like feeling that way? Of course you don't. I want you to listen to what Proverbs 17.22 says. Are you ready for this? A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. And man, that's a great description because that's exactly what it feels like to me when I'm having one of those days where I'm not feeling it, like my bones are drying up. Okay, so what do you do when you have days like that? Well, I think most of us just soldier on and plow right into our day. We just accept it because... We don't think we have the time to deal with it, and so we don't. And i got to be honest, most times that's what I generally do myself. But here's the trouble with that. Trouble is, the feeling may stick with you for an entire day, and if you're not careful, it could go for a couple of days, right? You don't want that. So the other day when I had this, and man, I was really not feeling it, I decided to take a new approach. Are you ready for this? I decided to actually... Practice what I'm preaching here at Intentional Faith. And I went deep in the Word looking for help. Now, uh, you'll be glad to know that that made all the difference in the world. It was the perfect remedy. It's the perfect remedy for you too when you're having those kinds of days. All right, so what's the takeaway? Well, the takeaway is this. I believe when we have those days where we're just not feeling it, it's a reflection of the unconscious reality that we simply do not have the kind of control over our lives that we think we want to have. It comes from the mental and physical exhaustion of trying to maintain that control. And ladies and gentlemen, that is an enormous burden that we were never meant to carry alone. The solution is faith. So today, I want to leave you with two psalms that last week helped me get back on track real quickly when I just wasn't feeling it. The first one is Psalm 62, verses 5 through 8. Listen to this. Yes, my soul, find rest in God. My hope comes from Him. Truly He is my rock and my salvation, for He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. My salvation and my honor depend on God. He is my mighty rock, my refuge. Trust in Him at all times, you people. Pour out your hearts to Him, for God is our refuge. Don't you feel better already? All right, the second one is one of my all-time favorites, and uh, it's one, Psalm 143, verses 8 through 10. You ready? Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I entrust my life. Rescue me, from my enemies, Lord, for I hide myself in you. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on level ground. Friends and neighbors, that took maybe 60 seconds. When you're having one of those days you're just not feeling it, you don't know why, take five minutes. Don't tell me you don't have five minutes. Take five minutes and do a quick dive into the Word using these two psalms or whatever you choose. It will instantaneously change your whole outlook because that's what faith is all about. And that's a wrap for today. As always, may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. The Lord be with all of you. Until next week, stay strong, keep the faith, come back and see us. Bye now.